Hello everyone. Notice it that Explorer started making strange clicking noises with engaged four wheel drive and decided that it's finally time to investigate what is happening. Turns out front drive shafts slip yoke has quite a lot of play and even differentials front pinion bearing started to have movement to the sides. Lucky for me, I have hoarded spare drive shaft. Just needed to remove it from spare transfer case. Both are orange. And pinion bearing is easily changeable, just need to remove flange. Orange drive shaft is in good condition. Just need to replace front universal joint, cause it has couple bearing caps missing. Best part of Explorer's drive shafts are double cardan joints. With them it's way smoother and can work at higher angles, which is perfect for lifted trucks. Removing old universal joint wasn't as easy as you would want. Of course lack of proper tools doesn't help either, therefore some hammer and bench press had to be used. Snap rings were fighting a little, but was able to remove them without bigger problems. Universal joint itself was quite stuck and needed help with hammer to get out. Sadly, don't have any strong press, maybe it's time to think about acquiring one. Both bearing caps had to be hammered outside for universal joints easy removal and installation of the new one is straightforward. Added universal joint inside of yoke and both bearing caps pressed with bench press. Only struggle is to balance bearing caps to center for snap rings installation. New universal joint is with zerk, therefore needed to lubricate it before installation. Time to remove all drive shaft. It starts with transfer case skid plate. This helps to access drive shaft bolts. Four bolts in the back and four bolts in the front. It's easier to unscrew them by pairs. Two bolts on each side. And then turn drive shaft to access other two. It's a bit tight place, but drive shaft is easily removed by splitting it in two parts. As long as I'm planning to change front pinion bearing, pinion nut has to be unscrewed. It should be quite a task, cause I'd guess it wasn't touched for almost 30 years. As thought air impact doesn't help, therefore decided to spray some VD40 and let it rest for couple hours. Lucky for me, this time VD40 helped. Had to unscrew by hands with a huge elbow wrench, but it's free. Double checked if pinion seal fits, looks like it does, therefore moving on. Removing seal, slinger and bearing. Everything is accessible easily, just needs a little bit of patience. and managed to order wrong bearing. Turns out ordering parts in middle of the night is not the best idea. Happened to order rear differentials pinion front bearing instead of fronts front bearing. Oh well. Back to computer to search for some bearings. Three days later, assembly time. Bearing fits perfectly, just needed to use old bearing for hammering in new one. New one feels much better. No movement to the sides whatsoever. Slinger and pinion seal install are easy and we can move on with flange. At first screwed it with air impact and to double check torqued with elbow wrench. Finish is almost here. 
just need to install orange drive shaft into its new home. Didn't want it to disassemble through a slip yoke, therefore task was a bit harder. Luckily there is enough room to slip hole differential. All is left to screw drive shaft in its place and check for any play in slip yoke and bearing. Great success! No additional movement in drive shaft or in the pinion bearing.